Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. You can make one common mistake that can cost you hundreds, even thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any vehicle having a Toyota Corolla, that generation here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where the power outlet relay is located, which relay you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. But it's important guys to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engine work, transmission, mechanical, body work, anything you can think of practically. On this channel specifically, we'll be making at least 150 to 200 videos about that Toyota Corolla, that generation guys, if you have one of those, we'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your car does not want to start, you can, and uh, you find out that the fuel pump is bad, you're not getting fuel, you can just search for fuel pump uh, relay, fuel pump fuse really quickly, watch the video, spend a minute or two, replace it, you're back on the road, because uh, the writings on the fuse boxes uh, are very vague and most people will not even know uh, what they mean so uh, we will be making videos about uh, every possible fusing uh, relay in that Toyota Corolla so let's start on it now so the power outlet relay where you can expect to find it guys we will demonstrate on that Toyota Corolla that generation guys right here you will have multiple fuse boxes okay today we'll be working one relay box first let us show you something you need to guys open the hood and if you open the hood on your Toyota Corolla, if you face the engine on the right side right here under that cover, you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly guys why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burned or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that, that do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out here guys you'll see multiple relays oh by the way if you need to buy any relays fuses parts tools at a good price quick shipping we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them that way you do not waste money and time and here guys if you check all the relays none of those is for a power outlet but we have another fuse box under the dash on the driver's side on the bottom of the dash you have a white cover if you open it you just see fuses no relays however guys if you look behind the radio, behind the dash, okay, right there, behind the radio, you will have, guys, one hidden, okay, hidden relay box inside the dash. And that relay box will consist of five different relays, like this one, from left to right there, relay one, two, three, four, five. Relay number four, that will be the one, guys, for the power outlet. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time. 